Ma'am, what are you doing? Your baby is over here with the father. You can't escape motherhood like that. You need to come over here. Your foal is still over here with you. Oh. What? Okay, that was a bug. welcome back to my channel today we're going to be looking at the newest features that were added to swim yes i have a cone on my head i completely forgot to take it off before filming and i'm just now realizing i still have it on i have a list of things that i'm going to be going over in today's video but the most exciting thing out of all of these new features come over here come with me oh wrong way come with me come over here see these little legs that little tail i wonder what it could be it's a baby do a little shake shake. I have two of the babies right here with one of the mamas. The other mama is in the pasture. That is not Teramesu. That's just a horse with the same color as her. So yeah, these are the foals. We also have idling animations that were added to the horses. So now they have cute little animations they do. You'll be able to see them, you know, do their little shake shake every now and then. And you'll be able to see them graze. There's the mama doing the shake. What about you, Gooseberry? You want to do something? Maybe not. We also have RP commands that make them able to lay down. We also have some more RRP actions. We have eat, kick, lay, and rear. So we're going to look at those as well in a little bit, but let's go back and look at the foals. So we have said before that breeding won't come out until V2, and this is still true. This is currently just vanilla type breeding, so you give two horses sweet feed. But in V2, we still are planning to add a full genetic system, breeding, you know, unique features that won't be in V1. So we're going to have Gooseberry over here, and I'm going to go invisible. So you guys can't see me while I'm on Gooseberry. There's Go Gooseberry doing a scratch scratch on her leg. My cone. You can still see my cone. Swim, RP, lay. Isn't that adorable? So we can get just her laying in the sun. Well, I guess in the shade. This is the sun over here. She's laying in the shade. Look at her. She looks like a model. I love how you can still push them, like when they're laying down, I love that, just Minecraft mechanics, you can shove them around a little bit, I can model her, and I love how they can still turn and everything, but I'm sure there's a lot of, oh, oh, she's going, she's going, okay. There's a lot of things that will be changed and that are a little bugged right now, so I'm sure, you know, in the future, when V1 is released, we'll have a lot of the bugs worked out, because this was just released recently. There's Eat. So that's Gooseberry Grazen. We have Kick. We have Rear. And she's still grazing. The Rear and the Kick, they are like, they're passing action. So they do it once and they leave it. But Eat and Lay are one of those that they just keep on doing unless you tell them otherwise. Let me go ahead and bring the foals into the pasture with the one of the mamas. The chestnut foal is the baby of the the flea bitten. The chestnut is the flea bitten's baby. So let's return the black foal back over to the piebald. I think it's stuck on the fence. Go back in. Go on in. Go on. Maybe it just doesn't know what to do. There you go. Okay, come over here. We're gonna put you back with your mama. Go return to your mama. It's like, mother, I'm back. Over here, she's still grazing. We're actually gonna take her off the graze, the eat, so she can do her own thing. Oh, or she'll lay down, okay. So if I if I enable lay while she's in eat, then when I take her off the eat RP command, the animation, she'll lay down. That's actually really cool. So it kind of stacks up, puts it into queue. I really like that because then you can use that to your advantage when doing photo shoots. That way you don't have to get on her, 
you know, repeat the command, get off of her, get back on her, you know, you don't have to do it all over again. The next thing I'm going to be looking over in this video, I'm going to have to have a horse tacked up. So I'm going to use Gooseberry and she's a magenta tack set. That was her color. So I'm just going to use that. So she's completely tacked up. I'm going to hop on. So when you're riding a horse, you can see that you have a toolbar. This toolbar is where you're going to be keeping all of your media items. And like, of course, your inventory will have other stuff too. The toolbar, if you look to the right of the toolbar, you will see what gate I'm doing. So if I go up to trot, it changes to trot, canter, and so on. And then she can't do gallop because she hates me. Imagine you're out in the wilderness and you tacked up your horse and you have everything, but you're going through maybe like a rough patch of land or you don't feel safe riding your horse through a forest. You know how the trees can get when you're riding a horse. It's really hard to get through. Or you just need to lead your horse and you don't have a lead in your inventory. You have no lead whatsoever. So you just walk up to your horse with a bridle, and shift left click, and then boom, you have a lead. And the lead at the moment is a little bit buggy. Um, the reason it's staticky is because I'm on Optifine and Optifine is a little bit buggy with it. And the lead placement is also a little buggy, but that's okay. We're adjusting that. Um, you now have a functional lead and you can just shift to left click to have your horse's lead be put back as reins. So you can just bring your horse, functional lead, Need to get back on my horse, shift left kick again, and boom, you're done. So now your bridle, since it already has reins, it works as a functional lead. All you need to do is just shift left click your horse's bridle, and you'll be able to take the reins and use it as a lead temporarily. We're gonna use a cheat to get you back into the pasture. There you go. <laughs> is your foal, yep, your foal is still over here with you. Oh, um, what? Okay, that was a bug. We need to name these two foals. I don't know what to name them. This one looks just like baby kings. I wonder what they'll look like when they grow up. Let's go ahead and quickly breed a few horses. So we added 20 new coats, which you guys are going to see all the coats in the showcase posted on the swim channel soon, so don't worry about that. How to breed the horses. Um, we're going to be using Sweet Feed. Thank you to the truck that just passed by my window and made that noise. It's vanilla type breeding, which means you right click both the horses that are tamed and it'll give you a full. But in the future, it will be like a more unique style of breeding. So we have two vanilla horses, they're ponies. Oh, hello to you too. I'm gonna right click both of them. And I wanna, oh wait, I have to tame both of them. I wanna go ahead and make the coat something new, one of the newer coats. I like this one. And we're gonna make you one of the newer coats as well. Come over here, please. Where's a lead? <laughs> okay, let me bring them over to each other so they can breed. I know you guys just met each other, but it has to happen. Oh, did a full? <gasps> Hello. That one's the mama since the foal is following it. Don't escape. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fill in this entire area if I'm gonna have foals in here. So if you guys have ever played Minecraft and you bred two horses, like two completely different horses and you come out with a foal that looks nothing like them, it's kind of like this, like it's a vanilla breeding, but genetics will be added to V2. That's one of the things that I saw all the time when going over my comments because I do go over my comments quite a lot and see people saying, we wanna see the horses breed, breed the horses, we wanna see foals. You guys asked and you know what, the swim team, they delivered. Look at this, so beautiful. So I am confusion. How long did it take for that fool to learn to go around me? <laughs> if you guys like these types of swim videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. I hope you all stay healthy and safe. Stay hydrated. You better be drinking your water. And I will see you in the next video or stream. Ma'am, what are you doing? Your baby is over here with the father. You can't escape motherhood like that. You need to come over here.